All right, everybody, it's Pat again, and here I am back uh, for the last two different scenarios for the Prototrack RLX tool setup. And where I'm at right now is I've got a program in the machine, and you'll notice when I go to the tool table that it's just the way I left it off before. I had used my own tools, so I have my part zero set in the bluish gray color, not with a library tool, and my library tools are here, but I'm actually using all the gray tools. Now let's say that I get all done here and I go, you know what, my next job, I'm gonna have to use completely different tools. I don't really need that library anymore. I'm gonna go in and erase the library, which it is gonna warn me, but it's gonna let me do. Now I get done making this part and it's like, okay, I'm done with that job too. So I'm gonna close the tool table window. I'm gonna to go to edit. I'm gonna say that I wanna erase a program and I'm gonna say yes. And now I wanna start a new program. But before I can start a new program, I realize that my tool table is still set to blue. And it's like, okay, what I wanna do is set it to green and I wanna set up new tools and put them in my library. The same kind of scenario I did before, but because the machine hasn't been shut off, this is still set in blue. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to start by making a library tool. So I'm gonna tell it I got tool number 101 like I showed you before. I'm gonna tell it that it's a right turn face tool. I'm gonna tell it that it's carbide. I'm gonna put in my tool size. And what you're gonna see when I go to the tool setup page and I try to touch it off, it's gonna say, hey, library tool has to be set first, okay? And so what we actually have to do is even though I'm trying to set up a library tool, I don't know how to switch it back in, into from blue from, to green, sorry about that. So what I'm gonna do is say okay here and I'm gonna close the window. I'm gonna to go to the DRO mode and you'll notice that it knows I'm trying to set up a library tool because it's already in the DRO and it says, tell me where you are. So I'm simply gonna to touch the X. In this case, on my keyboard, I'm just pushing X, but on your machine, you'd push the one actually on the pendant, right? And I'm telling it that I just touched off a one inch diameter. I'm gonna to touch Z, face it off, tell it that is Z zero. When I go back to my tool table, this changed from blue to green which means now I can go to my tool setup page and I can actually say that in the actual setup, X is at one, Z is at zero, push return, and I'm right back to the way I was in the very first scenario that I showed you how to use it, right? So here's my second tool and I can tell it what it is, right? Tell it what it's made of, give the sizes. Whoops, 0 0.193 and then do my tool setup in here. So from here on out, everything's gonna be green just like before. I touch my one, touch my Z zero. There you go. And my last tool, tool 103. OD groove, carbide, and tool setup, one inch Z zero. Okay, so there we go. Now we have a library that's all set up again. I can import a program and use it accordingly. I can do whatever I wanna do as before. Now I've got one more scenario that I want to discuss and I personally wouldn't use this one either, but there are times where people will want to do so, so I wanna make sure you know how to do it. Here's my next scenario. I've got a library. I've got my part zero set up and I wanna make a new program and I don't wanna use those library tools. I don't really know why I would do this normally, but it might be that I've got certain tools in my library that I like to use all the time I don't wanna lose them or their offsets or anything like that, but I just wanna do this different job and not use any of those parts. What I need to do is I need to change this back to blue. The way that I would do that is I would start out by importing my program or writing my program. So I'm gonna open the same program I've been using all day and I'm gonna go back to my tool table. And in here, I'm gonna to start to describe this new tool I'm gonna to use. Let's say it's a left turn face tool and it's made out of high speed and it has an 015 radius on it, right? And instead of going in here and setting this tool up where it will turn green to match the rest of the library, what I'm gonna do is close this window and go to DRO mode. And I'm gonna change here from tool number 103 to tool number one. Okay, and then I'm gonna to touch off that tool number one, say X is at one inch and you will get this error in here telling me that I'm actually changing it back. Are you sure you wanna do that? It's not gonna match your library tools. I'm gonna to say yes. Same thing with the Z axis, face off my part. Same warning, say yes. When I go back to the tool table, now my part zero is back to being set 
only with the new tools that I'm going to set up and it's going to ignore the library just like it did before. So I can complete my setup now by coming in here, telling it where I'm at, one inch, Z zero. Just like before, my tools are gonna set in blue and not in green. As a reminder, I cannot add these to the library, right? Because they don't match, but I can use them all day long. All right, so zero. 0.125, let's say, tool setup, touch the one inch, touch the zero, push return. And last tool, again, is an OD thread, high speed, tool setup, touch my references, and there we go. All right, so in closing, what you see is I basically have two completely different sets of tools. And they also have two different places that they are set by using the part zero. And therefore, I can do everything except really mix and match them. Even in the scenario I showed you where you can mix the two in the run mode, you should never ever go to run mode and try to run it without correcting the situation. It's gonna give you a whole bunch of warnings telling you, hey, you shouldn't do this unless there's really a scenario where you know what you're doing, but I don't recommend it. If you can keep the tools all green, everything is gonna to work together. You'll never have a problem. You won't have to worry about a crash. So again, I hope that you find that this is all beneficial and you have a really good, clear understanding of how the tooling works. If you don't, contact me from this video and I'll be more than happy to answer any questions you might have. As always, I appreciate you watching. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, just keep on tracking. Thanks for watching.